I don't know why you still us. Let's make a deal. I give you three bottles of mommy's breast milk and I won't say a word. I give it to you on the side. Come on, man, please. Go to sleep, man. You look like you're full awake. I'll let you play with the dog. I'll give you some steak. Can we make out a deal? Because oh, you look like you're going to be up for another three days. God help me. One minute later. Hey, how you doing? I'm Richard T. Thank you for coming to my channel. The only channel where you will get fitness, family, facts, and fun. Today, I want to talk to you fathers, even the mothers, about how to get your baby to go to sleep. As you know, that babies need a lot of sleep. That's the only time they're really growing. And sometimes babies, they don't know when they need to go to sleep. They fight it. Some babies go to sleep in spurts. Sometimes babies go to sleep. Some babies go to sleep for a long time. So we as parents have to determine when they need that sleep because that's the best time when they grow and they develop. So let's get into it. Let me give you a couple things on how to get them to go to sleep. Number five, establish a bed routine. Now, my son goes to sleep morning, noon, and night. So he's taking little power naps. Might go to sleep around nine o'clock in the morning, then he'll go to sleep again, um, maybe between one and five. Then he'll go to sleep, then he'll go to bed uh, around 8.30 again. So you have to establish a routine. Just like you establish a routine with feeding, like breakfast, lunch, and dinner, you have to uh, make a routine for them to go to sleep and stick to it. Number four, a warm bath. Children love playing in the water, splashing and doing a lot of things in there. You know, we use that to wash them up, but that soothes their body. You ever realize that when you give a baby, um, soon the warm water hits their body, um, they seem to go to the bathroom <laughs> because it soothes them. That's why. Usually, my son, soon when he gets a bath, he has to, he has to poop after he finishes. It's crazy, right? I just cleaned him, so now he has to poop. So I'm like, oh man, this is crazy. And so, a warm bath will really help them go to sleep at night. Do it around that bedtime. Number three, make sure the baby is fed. Nobody wants to go to sleep with an empty stomach. Just don't overfeed them. Just give them what they need. And then usually they'll go to sleep. Number two, cuddle and kisses. I love, I love that part. Cuddle and kisses. Sometimes the baby just want to be soothed to sleep. You know, they want their, a close body close to them all the time. They want to know that you care and that you're there for them. They want to be held tight or loosely or whatever how they feel. Don't hold them too tight because the body heat can, you know, do something to them. So make sure they're comfortable, you know, uh, make sure they're not too hot or too cold. You know, remember the house might be warm and then your body heat will push up the, the warmth and then they might feel uncomfortable. So just don't make it even, just don't also just don't make it too cold either. You know, just make it, try to make it just right. Maybe 72, 73 degrees. That'd be perfect. And number one, maybe singing lullabies to them to make them go to sleep. Put on some um, soothing music for them. Um, also, what works for me is that to put them to sleep at night, I make sure all, um, every, the TV is, the TV light is dimmed all the way down. And there's some YouTube music or even the rain channel will help them go to sleep. It works fantastic for him. And it even works fantastic for me. That white noise is perfect. Here's a bonus. I also have some other things that help a baby go to sleep. They also, there are some type of lotions out there that have some type of uh, chamomile in them to soothe them. That's great. You put, them on them, put that on them after they take a bath. Also, you gotta speak to your doctor about this first though. Uh, chamomile tea. If he's really cranky and you need him to go to sleep, chamomile is great for the baby's sleep. The chamomile tea helps the baby's body 
um, digestive system to become regulated. So he'll have a bowel movement more regularly. Also, he even go to sleep with that type with that tea. But you have to ask your doctor first. Um, if you do plan on giving the chamomile to the baby, make sure it's a tablespoon for every 10 pounds. It's, it's on you as a parent to look for the signs of when your baby really wants to go to sleep, yawning, grimacing, real tired. Um, what do they call it? Um, I forgot what they call it. They call it slap happy. It's when a baby is like really like, you you could tell that they're tired, but they're like really energetic, but their eyes are open, but they're closing their eyes at the same time, like they're falling asleep, but they're up at the same time. Look out for signs for that too. And there you go. I give you a couple things to help your child go to sleep. He's up now, so I gotta deal with him. <laughs> but see, as a parent, as your child gets older and older, you'll figure out exactly what they need, um, the signs when they're tired, you know? And listen, I believe in you. You'll be a good parent, all right? So we gotta go, uh, and uh, I'll talk to you later. It's uh, lunchtime. Peace, Richard T is out.